Necesito de un marido tras de silencio para el lanzamiento de Jordan. Hasta el coraje que se puede triunfar no les abandona. En la realidad es que no logran continuar sus esfuerzos para superar al fin de entrar. So, Hank, first, tell me, uh, tell me how popular baseball is in Cuba. Well, now, I don't know about how popular it is, but when I used to be there, we have a really, really good crowd, and the people should love that. This is uh, another way, it's uh, the best sport in Cuba, baseball. Mm -hmm. And the people, uh, he go into the stadium all the time, and I have a only baseball in Havana, Cuba. Tell me what year you played for Amandaris. Well, I played for Amandaris, let me see. From the 56, from, from the 56 to the end, in February 19, uh, uh, February 1960. And then, uh, I know, visit the Cuban from the 1960s. This is the last time I've been in Cuba. So tell me now a little bit about the Sugar Kings and uh, the season that you guys won the championship. Oh, <laughs> we won the championship over there. The year we won the championship, again, again, uh, this is a year of the revolution. And we play, uh, we, we, we started, we beat a, uh, we beat a Rochester, and then we beat uh, another club. Uh, we beat the uh, Richmond, Virginia, and then we play again Minnesota. And when the, the playoff, the, 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 the extra playoff, mm -hmm. because it's like American League and National League, we right. play against Minnesota. Yeah. This because uh, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, is in the Pacific League, mm -hmm. and we in the International League. And we play there, and, and over there, we, we go to Minnesota. And we play in Minnesota. And when, when we play in Minnesota, it started snow. It snow all, all, all over, all over, all over. It's cold, and uh, we are never, I never, I never been in that situation, you know. And we got there, and and uh, we play there in Minnesota. And then one day, the the uh, we play with the snow. When I get out in the morning. I saw the top of the house, white, complete white. I said, oh my God, we don't have a game today. We don't have a game, we have a game. <laughs> we play. And the next day, it's no more, more again. And the, and the manager, I think Eddie Stanky. Mm -hmm. Eddie Stanky, he said to the club, the club man, hey, you got the water heat already? He said, no. He said, well, put him here. He said, no, no, I have an order for the owner of the ball club, and we're not going to put him here. We're not going to use it. He said, what do I mean? We said, we're not going to use it. We don't play today. No, because over here, and he started, you know, talk and talk and talk. <laughs> and then we transferred from Minnesota to Cuban. And when we go to Cuban, we beat over there. And, and Minnesota, they have a Really, really good thing. He have a lot of major league players. Yeah, he had a lot of the Sugar Kings had a lot of major leaguers. Who is who is some of the guys? Well, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of, but it's something funny. We don't have a nobody in the Cuban Sugar King. We don't have a nobody hit 300. Really? Nobody <laughs> in the court. But we hustle. Yeah. We hustle all day long, back and forth, all day long. And uh, we have a, a, over there, you know, when um, well, we go there and then we go, we go to Cuba and we beat it and that's it. And before that, before that, we play against Rochester. 
and this is the July 26, mm -hmm. the day for the revolution. Mm -hmm. And he got the rifle, he got the machine gun, and he started shooting the stereo to the roof. You see, pa 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 all over the stereo, all over the stereo. And and Birdie, oh, it's Birdie, he used to be the coach for the Rochester in third break. And one of the bullets, he hit in the hammer because he had the hammer in case he hit in the hammer. And Leo Cardenas, he prayed for us. And one of the bullets, he hit a Leo Cardenas in the back. And he burned him. He, bur he burned in the back. And I picked out the bullet. And I don't know what happened with that bullet and disappeared and then lose. I don't know where I put him in. Where I don't know. And we have a good, and the people are going crazy over there, oh my God. And one day, one day, uh, in, the, in the playoff, again, uh, in the playoff, Fidel Castro, we were waiting, we were waiting for him, and then he never showed up. And then, here he come, the helicopter, he landed right in the middle of the pitch. And Titi Arroyo is pitching for us. Titi Arroyo, no Titi Arroyo. Titi Arroyo is pitching for us. And he said, what's it, what the hell is this? Now it's in the terrine. He don't throw the first pitch <laughs> I can't believe it. And so he threw the first pitch in the third inning. Yeah. And, uh, and then, when he threw the first pitch, OK, everybody sat down behind the uh, scoreboard and the stadium, all over the ballpark, all over, all over, all over policemen. All the policemen from the army there. And then we say, oh my God. And, <laughs> and Preston Gomez, he said, he said, I can't believe Preston Gomez is the manager for us that year. We won the pen. And Preston Gomez, he, he said, well, I saw everything now. And Tita Royal right behind me. And he said, I never saw that thing before in my life. I never saw that thing before in my life. <laughs> he said, well, you see now. <laughs> you see now, I'm big quiet. <laughs> uh, we have a good time there. We have a good time. What, what were the reaction? How did the American players feel when things like this were happening? Because, I, I don't know, you guys might have been kind of accustomed to the yeah. revolution, but what were the, you had some American teammates. What were they, how did they feel that they, when a, you know, the pop, 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 the guns in the air. How, what did they do? Oh, what did they do? Run to the dog out. Run to the dog out. Soon the people stop. Stop that. Because he celebration the 26th of July. And she bullets all over. Pop, 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 pop. He made a hole all over the stereo and the stereo there. But uh, the American, you know, some, some, well, he, he be in Cuba already before few times, you know, for the players. Mm -hmm. He be in Cuba, but he never saw the people shooting like this, or like a crazy. How was, what was your impression of Castro the times you saw him at the ballpark? What, you know, did you shake his hand? What was, what was he like? Did, what was he like towards the ball players? How did he treat you guys? Well, I'm gonna explain to you something. Uh, Castro, when that day, that day we beat at Rizmo, Virginia, uh, he said, what? Everybody going straight to the bed now. Everybody going straight to bed now. I want everybody to rest now. And we have to beat it tomorrow. Well, uh, Preston Gomez, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, it's a game like another game. Is we a player in the playoff? And, and then the people in the dugout with the machine gun all over the dugout, you know, letting you walk in two ways, you know, it's awful. And, and we, we go in there and, and we said, well, we had to do it there. And, and with the players, the players, uh, we play, 
We played and that's it. It is only thing we're doing. They moved the team to Jersey City. That was the next year, right? Yeah. And you almost didn't have a choice, right? You had either had you had to stay here, right? Is that no? How, we, how we, that work? No, we don't have to. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. A lot of players come back to you. Oh, they did. Okay, you chose to stay. No, a lot of players. Uh, few players. Few players come back to Cuban. Like the manager, he come back to Cuban. And uh, Tony Castaño, he passed away now. And Orlando Pena, Mike Weller, Rob Foaria. It's bunch of, he come back to Cuban. Bunch of, uh, and then, Laura come back to Cuban and I don't remember if Sanchez is going to where a few players going back to Cuban and and I stay because uh, Gay Paul used to be with with Cleveland and and the and the Yankees and the Yankees too yeah. And he be together good friend to Bobby Maduro, mm -hmm. yeah. really good friend. And he talked to me. He called me to the, to the. I think I have a picture. I don't know if I have it here. Or I have a picture there because I got so many pictures. I don't know. I don't. Know. I'm gonna put it all over. <laughs> he convinced me and he said. You be nice over here, you be all right, and we take it out your family from Cuba, and, and so, so, so. If you have any problem over here, we gonna take care of you. He complains to me, you know, and I stay, I say I stay. And then when, when we finish the season over here in Jersey City, we come back to Cuba. And we play one more year in Cuba, one more season. So. When we go to Jersey City, he put a patch to, to the knee, izquierdo, he put a patch to us, and, uh, and he put a patch in the front, uh, he put a patch in the back and patch in the front to the Jersey City. In the back, you can see, you see he have a, uh, the Cuban sugar king in the back. The sugar kings won the pennant in 59? In 59 we won the pennant. I still have my ring over there with the Sugar King. You just still have that? Yeah, I still have it there with the Sugar King. Oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah I show to you. Okay. This is the ring he given to us when we won the pennant in the Cuban Sugar King in the International League. We won again Minneapolis. And we play more, one more season because Preston Gomez, when he used to be a manager, he said, Flaco, he called me skinny. Mm -hmm. You can be a good, uh, good uh, travel secretary for the club. And this is some extra money you're going to collect. I said, OK. And every time the club moving, he gave me some extra money to me, okay. paid to me. And I used to be uh, Castro, he don't give it too much. Mm -hmm. he, uh, the French year, Castro gave me money to us to get out of the country. But after that, he don't give it no, no dollar to us. To the team or to the To person? the team, to the team. Yeah. And then, when he don't give it no money to us, I had to go to the stereo. I had to go to to the stadium and uh, ask for some money, advance money. 
and every parrot I go, I have to go early to the ball parlor and ask him for the money. And then I give him your money to the players, mm -hmm. all the stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're running that way. This is what we're going that way. And and we got uh, we got the, the the money and and we got the money like this and and then we, because of presto he left the club when we won the pena he left the club because he said Babasi Babasi he wanted him to learn a Canadian language okay. and you know you know you know he can take care of the club. Because he he gonna he gonna leave the club anyway, right, right. and he got money and he don't worry about that and he don't care. But mm -hmm. he do a good job. Did did I heard a story that uh, when you guys won the championship, um, Castro kept the money, the, the bonus money? Is that true or? <laughs> <laughs> we won the championship. Okay. I think he gave it to us five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, something like this. And, and the next day, we go to the stadium to get the money. He said, "No, the money is not here yet because of the government he have the money." And he take it all of dollars. He take it all of dollars. He give it to us in pesos. <laughs> so he took the American dollar and gave it to He took the American dollar and he gave it to one person. It's <laughs> Fidel Castro. But that's all right. Well, this is what I think of that way. Did that bother you at the time? Hmm? Did it bother you when he did that? He bothered everybody. He bothered everybody, but you can say one word. Especially, uh, we're gonna we gonna get out of there. Mm -hmm. right. We're gonna leave it. Now, when did now you were able to get out the next season? Why? Because you were going to spring training. Like, when did you make the decision that you knew you were were never going back? What went into that decision? When did you decide that? This before the season saw in Cuban, I decided we're gonna leave. And my wife, you know, my wife, you know, and. The people he know are gonna leave it, and I talk to to her, and he say, "Well, I gonna leave it, and I gonna see how I gonna take it out of my daughter, and my wife, from Cuban." And I told the, the rest of the family, "I gonna stay in the United States when I, when I get out, mm -hmm. and I, I stay here." Uh, one day. I have a bad time and someday I have a good time and that's, that's part of the life. Mm -hmm. Someday it's good and someday it's bad. Mm -hmm. Someone also told me uh, that um, had Castro not taken over, some people believe that the Havana Sugar Kings would have been an expansion team in the major leagues before the Montreal Canadiens. Do you, the Montreal Expos, do you agree with that? Do you think they would have been? I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Why? What, what was because in, uh, because we have a in Cuba we have a, a patient the sugar king. We have in the sugar king. We have it over here. He said, one more step, and we make it. One more step, and we make it. And this is the word for everybody. Over there. One more step, and we make it. And we're supposed to have a baseball major league over there. Right now, mm -hmm. but but this is, this is, by the situation going, I don't think it will. Mm -hmm. No more. I have a right now. I have about thirty-five nephew, and I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know nobody. Yeah. Would you ever go back? Well, that is what I have an argument with my family, with, with my wife. My my kid, all of my kid, because I told her, you see, when, no, I can't come back right away, but I like to come back to Cuba. I like to come back 
And one of these days, I know that now is destroyed everything. Now is a lot of different now. But he says, Fidel die or Q and change his mind. And someday I can go there. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to go there because what I don't know nobody there right now, but I like to go there to see the rest of my family. Mm 